Hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Quizineer. It is a it's a cooking roguelite, which sounds really interesting. It was available as part of the Next Fest, but unfortunately the demo is down. Uh, but we got access to it right before the end, so we're just gonna dive in and show it off anyway. Uh, and then we'll be back when the game is actually oh, out. Does she have bubble tea? She got bubble tea. We love bubble tea. We too much. <laughs> so her name is Palm. Finally, almost home. Where's that letter I got from Mum and Pops again? Dearest darling Palm, we hope you're taking care of yourself wherever you are. We're preparing ourselves for our own journey, a last adventure in this mortal realm. If you're able to pop back for a visit, we'd love to see your face one final time before we depart for heavenly unknowns. Your loving parents, Mum and Dad. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. They're departing the mortal realm for the heavenly unknowns? Are they exploring heaven or are they This could be like dying? a... I, I almost wonder if this is like one of those Chinese games where it's actually more of a... Uh, uh, I is don't it some kind of weird transcendence thing or... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, all right. Poor child gets a letter from her parents saying... Dearest daughter, we're going to die soon. Come visit if you can. Like, pardon? Also, rip chickens. It, it might not mean death in the the way that we think, but wait, are the chickens actually coming to attack me? They are. Yeah. Okay. It looks like killing the chickens does get them to run away at least. But yeah, they were they were coming in for a peck, maybe. Well, maybe I... they that one didn't seem aggressive until you smacked it, but. Yeah, I just don't I just don't trust the chickens anymore. Oh, I like the world map. It's cute. That is pretty. I think art on this is really good. Wow. Pale looks the same as ever. Nothing seems to have changed, which means the restaurant must be. Hey, do I have any other controls? Nope. It is Oh no, I do have a dash. There! Mum, Dad, I'm coming! Just gets inside there, two skeletons. Oh. I don't know. What happened to this place? Mom? Dad? Hello? Biscotti. It's another cat girl. Is someone there? Hey, you're trespassing. Oh my goodness. Palm, it's you, isn't it? You're finally back from your adventures. Oh, Biscotti, thank goodness it's you! Of course it is. I've been watching over the restaurant since your parents left. Oh, yeah, they left this for you. Dearest Darling Palm, if you're reading this, that means we've already left Pale. I'm sorry, but our tickets for a trip around the world were really expensive. We couldn't afford to miss this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity before retiring for good. The advertisement said it would be a heavenly experience. With never-before-seen places in this mortal realm. We'll be back soon, but in the meantime, please take care of our restaurant for us. Your loving parents, mom and dad. Wait, they're so this train is the heavenly experience, but what? It sounds like a scam. Mom, dad, you must be joking. Also, wait, what happened to all the furniture? Didn't they tell you they sold most of it to pay for their trip around the world? I, I don't. Wow, these seem like the kind of parents that are then going to be destitute for their their entire retirement and being like. <laughs> Take care of us, daughter. We raised you, therefore you owe us the latter 30, 30 years of our lives worth of comfort and care. I... No, we didn't save up for this. Why? I don't know. Maybe they thought that by going to the heavenly realm, it meant they didn't have to worry about their mortal life, therefore sell all their possessions for this one-way I mean, trip around the world on a train. That was the original implication, but I'm pretty sure they're just shiftless losers who just wanted to <laughs> have, like, you know, one final... Uh, vacation, and then just mooch off their daughter for the rest of their lives. Okay, I, we're gonna continue with this, but I just, I, I truly do wonder what's going on. Oh, why am I not surprised? See, she isn't surprised. Anyway, welcome home, Palm. The trip must have been exhausting. Why don't you get some rest, and we'll talk in the morning. See you, Biscotti. So that's the counter. The back must be the kitchen. They do have a soup no, pot there. This this is the restaurant. This is this, where this, people this area eat. would have been the restaurant. This is the kitchen here. 
Really? It was just a soup pot? No. I, I am 90% certain they somehow sold the interior of this place out as well, hence why it's super small. Because this is our bedroom. Oh, it is your bedroom. Wow. I mean, maybe other furniture could have been the stove. I'm or pretty other sure we are going to have to expand this restaurant. Like, they somehow downsized <laughs> it for money. Uh, I suppose I can deal with this tomorrow. Day two, spring. Quest started. Ah, what a beautiful morning. Wait, am I? Oh, right. I'm back in pale. Biscotti must be waiting for me. I should go find her. It's tough being a hardworking adult, but I feel good providing a service to my town. Good morning, Palm. I hope you slept well. Yes, it's nice to lie on a proper bed for after months on the road. How have you been? Busy as always. I do quite a lot of things in this town, you know. You said you were taking care of the restaurant. How did that happen? Well, your parents really wanted to go on their trip and told me to watch over it until you were back. Ah, I knew they were... I knew what they were doing with that no, letter. No, they knew what they were uh, doing with that letter. Oh, they knew. Oh, sorry. They knew what they were doing with the... What? They knew what they were doing with that letter. Dot, 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 dot. I would have redecorated, but there was something really inspiring about the empty space. It became a really special place for us, didn't it? And the rest of the town loved it, too. Yes, it's such a shame that it's closed now. Hmm. Why don't you reopen the restaurant? What? Take over my parents' business? I'm not too sure about that. Don't worry. You won't be alone. I can help you. All right, then. I'll be relying on you, Biscotti. Of course you will. Now, first things first. Will you be renaming the restaurant? No, I think I should keep it as it is. Potato Palace is a good name, and everyone in town knows it. I agree. It's a great idea. Next, you'll need to set up the restaurant. Yeah, I need to think more... Uh, I think I need more furniture. And more recipes. And ingredients. Gosh, there's so much to do. Well, one thing at a time. Let's, re -dec let's decorate this place with some new furniture. Why don't you go and visit Alder first? You're right. You should be able to help. Time to become deep in debt. For chairs. So, she's going to hunt for monsters that then become the food ingredients, right? Also, yep. there's the bubble tea shop. Yep. Now to find Elder. He should be at the carpenter shop. Oh, everyone has ears. Wait, yeah. does that person have horns? Yeah, they've got... Like... Yep. Yeah, she must That's be some a, kind of demon person. No, cow. Oh. Notice the oh, spots the and bell. the bell and the udders. Uh, hey, <laughs> don't call them udders. Uh, I think in this case, it's not an unfair assessment. Glad to see your home safe, Bum. And Wait, the old woman is... <laughs> she's aged so much, she's, <laughs> she's reverted back to a sketch. <laughs> okay, so they're probably going to put her final model in later. Or You're not model, uh, illustration. God can appear in the form of bread. Wait, God can appear in the form of bread? Is that a Jesus on toast reference? Oh, <laughs> yeah, possibly. Oh, briquet or briquette? Oh, she's a mouse. Ah, yeah, look at that giant gauntlet. Her, the gold one? Mm-hmm. Welcome back, Pun. Nice to see ya. I can buy... Oh, I see. This is weapons. But I am poor. We can also upgrade. See you next time. Okay, this is not the... Talk to everyone. I want to see their character portraits. Okay, I just don't want to talk to them, like, too long. Oh, Fusilli. Goat. He's a goat. Oh, Orzo. Bunny. Also yeah. sketch. So they were named after... A panda. Dofu. Oh, they're going to be a fox. Or a raccoon dog. Oh, could be raccoon dog. You're right. Wakocha. 
looking for some paintings. Oh, so you're going to be able to decorate even more. The brewery. Oh, look at those twirly antlers. Ankiloon. Next visit, kitty. They must be the... Uh, what, would, what would you say? The, the Casanova of this place. Wait, it's another cow. Mm -hmm. Nycha. Hey there, Palm. What's tingling your taste buds? We can buy that. Ah, it's a healing item. Fresh milk tea. Okay, where's the carpenter? Can I, like, check the map? Now, the like question is, here. where does the milk for their milk tea come from? Oh. Hopefully, they have actual cows that they... I Okay, this is a little bit bizarre. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'd just be... I love what? this guy. Oh, look at all... Is this, is this intentional? <laughs> I sincerely hope it is. Welcome. He's just so tall, he's out of frame. How can I help? Oh, Palm. Hello, oh, Alder. It's been so long. It's so good to see you. Oh, there he goes. He's <laughs> bent over. Likewise. I thought your family were, move were moving when they closed down Potato Palace. Well, I'm going to be here for a while. I'm going to reopen Potato Palace. That's exciting. I'm sure you're up for it. Can I help you in any way? Thank you, Alder. I need some new furniture, actually. I'm missing a few pieces. Of course. Anything here uh, here for your fancy or fit your fancy? All right. So, now, bye. I think it's amusing that he actually looks like a wolf. Yes. Wolf man, whereas everyone else is a human with... No. With animal features. Not fully. The, oh, the, the panda the and the raccoon dog. I think the men tend to look more animal but not always because the bunny guy was definitely also there was the gazelle guy unless they weren't a guy oh the goat guy you're right i i think it's the well, women look more like human women and the men look more like animals but not always but most of the time because i think the only human looking men we've seen were still sketches no there was the old man the old goat man. Yeah, but he looked pretty goat. He had a mustache, though. Y yeah, but he still looked pretty goat. Here, I'm just gonna buy these. <laughs> okay, so we can also upgrade the restaurant, which does increase the space a smidge. Does it? No. Hard to say. Well, we can't do it anyway. Have to see you as always. Okay, let's let's go find this this disputable goat man. He, no, you're right. He looks human. With he looks just, more human. You're yeah. right. Yeah, and then go around the corner to the guy who looks like a gazelle. Uh, up to the left? Yeah, there, there, left. No, no, no. no I mean, I suppose him. This one? I think they're a guy, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. I think he's just a pretty boy. Yeah. It's an inconsistent world. But yes, it does beg the question of... Where do they get the milk? Well, that's the thing. I always... I have this issue with... Um, when you have animal people, and it's not as though it's just an entire species of people that has reptilian features. It's... You have whole societies of some people are cats, some people are goats, some people are wolves. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What does that mean for their interactions with real animals? And each other? Yep. Because it, it's just, yeah, it, it's confusing. Welcome back, Palm. I see you've gotten some nice furniture. Yeah, Elder had some really nice things. All right, let's put them to good use. Why don't you try placing the furniture in the restaurant? Open customization. There we go. So you have one table. Yes, in a corner. Sitting in a corner. Amazing. It's starting to look like a proper restaurant now. It does remind me when they first started out. Gosh, it's been so many years. Now all you need to do is whip up some dishes to cook and serve everyone. Here. I was grocery shopping this morning. Let's see what you can make with this. Reputation earned. Noodles. Oh, good. There's no mini game. We just tell it to do the thing. Ah, oh, noodles. She's gonna eat it herself. It does look nice, at least. Hmm. Not bad for a first attempt. You've got the potential to be a great restaurateur. Thanks, Biscotti. Next, you'll need some recipes to start with. 
and ingredients. Here's an old recipe book your parents left behind. Anything in there would be well received by the townspeople. But where am I going to get the ingredients? Your parents always had them delivered. Do you have their contacts? No. Well, you're a grown-up now. I'm sure you have an idea of where to get them. I guess I could explore the green ruins. I've seen some of the ingredients there. That's a good place to start. I've got some matters, other matters to attend to. I'll come back when you're all set up. Thank you, Biscotti. See you later. Don't forget to go check out the rest of the town. Some shops sell really useful equipment. Well, do we even have much for money? It would have been Speed interesting if, as the Potato Palace, they specialized in a bunch of potato-based dishes. Brilliant briquette at your service. I've got... Well, I'll be it's calm. What do you need today? I've crafted some innovative adventuring tools recently. Are you interested? Hello, briquette. Actually, I'm reopening Potato Palace and I need... Oh. And you need some newfangled gadgets for edible experimentation. I've got just the thing. Uh, uh, no, Briquette. I, I just need some basic equipment, please. That's a little dull, but anything for you, Pom. What do you think of these? <laughs> so you have the knife, gloves. Okay, so I think we have the equipment. Oh, yeah. We've got a spinning plate now. Now, isn't that interesting? On the clock up in the right-hand corner, you have meal time, tea time, and is it wine time? Dinner. Maybe. Dinner? Uh, hmm. Wait up, Pong. Before I forgot, I have something for you. What is it, Biscotti? It's a special home-seeking amulet. If you're ever in trouble, you can use it to teleport right back to Pale. Wow! Where'd you get something like this? Oh, my parents got it for me years ago from a traveling merchant. But I want you to have it. You're just like family to me. And I want you to always have a way back home. Aw, Biscotti, thank you so much. You're the best, as always. You know it. Now off you go, and stay safe. Oh, look at that little illustration. That is really cute. There is it supposed to be some seed tadpole, or...? Yeah, maybe. Green ruins. I bet we'll fight it. The remains of an ancient civilization now overgrown with Mother Nature's luscious verdancy. A shady sanctuary for plant-like monsters due to its temperate climate and abundant vegetation. Forest promises a bountiful harvest because of its ecosystem. This is where we get all our plants. Yep. Wait, does that calamari have a ninja star? Yes. It does. I guess I'm really becoming a restaurateur, huh? I feel more comfortable as an adventurer, though. Hey, what's this? Wow, a brand new spatula? Maybe it's a sign. There's no one around. All right then, I can definitely use this. Time to get some ingredients. Okay, where are we going? Oh, there goes my Whoa. plates. Whoop. Poor chickens. Oh, that looks so much like a swinub. Not for long. <laughs> I assume it's supposed to be a boar. Yeah, but it does it does definitely have swinub vibes to it. Also, it doesn't look like time passes in the dungeon. Ooh, fatty meat. I thought we were supposed to be running into plantimals. Where are they? Okay, that might be one. It looks like a pepper or something. What oh do you think? my gosh, it is yep. It's like a little pepper dog. It's very cute. Also, here's the veggies. Also, it breeds fire. That reminds me that you got a uh, a D and D book that was meant for cooking, right? Yep. I very much would love to do some videos on it. Leafy greens. I'm on fire. Actually, it'd be really interesting to find all the games that we've played where it is it is about cooking, but you do go on adventures to gather ingredients and fight monsters that also give you ingredients. I'm immediately thinking of uh, 
uh, Battle Chef Brigade and Dungeon Munchies as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if you think about it, cooking has existed in games for a very long time, but when it's central to the core concept rather than as a mini game on the side. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I really like the ones where you're specifically gathering ingredients and the stuff you eat gives you stat boosts. Uh, like Dungeon Munchies, I thought was a good system. Yeah, I just always thought that for the majority of games that have cooking as a mechanic, it's always it's always something on the side and it's always just something that you use to give yourself buffs. Yeah. But this is a little different in that you're gathering these ingredients to have the restaurant and the restaurant is the thing that you're building up or the focus. I mean, mm -hmm. I suppose the adventuring is too in the battle, but ultimately it's to build up the restaurant. Yeah. I, I just want to play one of these games where you don't level up. You just eat things. Oh, you can't you can't gather it? Uh inventory is full. Is it full? Yeah. Well, you only have two rows? Oh. Well, we have to have the spatula. Well, okay, so here's the thing. We had this spatula, which is bad. Mmm. Maybe you have to sell it in town? Also, look at that cute little belt. I assume that as you progress through the game, I get you, more you can get more can belt use. slots, which yep. just pushes the belt loop further down the track. Yep. That's a really neat visualization for it. Yeah. No, the artistry for this game is quite impressive. Uh, they thought of a lot of things and integrated it well into the system. There we go. But now my spatula. So uh, I had the default spatula earlier, mm -hmm. and I just replaced it with the one that she randomly found. Yeah. Uh, it sets things sets things on fire at the end of the combo. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So I just tossed the previous one, which seems to have not had any consequences. Maybe I could have sold it, but I don't know. I still okay. want to find more plantimals. Yeah, unfortunately, it seems like there's a lot of loose chickens around here, too. But what are the dust bunny creatures? Mm, yeah, the I don't know. That, the ones that look like little pom-poms. There's an awful lot of traps out here. It is an ancient rune. Mm -hmm. Not to say that ancient rune... You can runes... dash over gaps like that? Apparently so, yeah. Oop, yeah, you may have been on a spike trap. Yeah, I didn't know where the uh, thing was coming from. I should have moved. Flower. Unfortunately, inventory is getting a bit full. At Do least you have a maximum stack for... Yeah, it yeah, seems to be so 10. Yeah, so the eggs are 20. 20. I'm just going to clear as much of the dungeon as possible, and we'll figure out what items I'm actually keeping at the end of it. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, I want to get as much, like, wood and rock and metal and everything else that I possibly can. Because mm -hmm. who knows what I'm going to need long term here. And it looks like we might actually be getting close to the end of this dungeon. I don't know. I do like it. Uh, well, that actually looks like... Second floor. Yeah, there's a stairway. Yeah, so I don't think this is, like, a, a roguelike in the same way that, like, most roguelikes would be. Uh, with the randomized power-ups and stuff, I think this is purely just go in a dungeon run, try and get as much stuff as you can. Um, go home. Go home, the and then use that to upgrade yourself. It's kind of this like weird mystery dungeon alt roguelike style that a couple of games cultivate. Not many. I do like the format though. Uh, I guess it's kind of like um, what was the one boyfriend dungeon had a sim similar format where. You weren't really getting mid-run power-ups most of the time. It was all just bringing stuff back out with you so you could upgrade your equipment in some Ooh. way, shape, or form. I don't know. There's some square blocks, so someone must have carved those. Well, I mean, this was an ancient ruin. Mm -hmm. I just hadn't seen too much that was man-made. Okay, do we have anything that I don't have too many of? Because there's the flaming spice and the exotic fruit. I think I'd still rather 
Why keep it just in case. Yeah, definitely. The flaming spice would likely allow you to unlock spicy dishes. Ooh, this one looks a little bit greener. And there's yeah. mushrooms. What I want to do is get out with as many large stacks of unique resources as I possibly can. Yeah, so here's all the peppers. Yeah, so if we can get a couple stacks of peppers, that'd be nice. And who knows, there might be more useful things. Oh, there's that coconut, right? Yep. Oh, wow, so it, it spews coconuts, and then the coconuts explode. And then there's the tadpole things that are shooting at me. Ah, there they are. Okay, luckily, you can kind of stunlock them. So they're giving you the greens. Yep. I suppose the greens would be like their tails. Yep. We've got a bunch of these. I'm trying to get the... I, yeah, Ori Halcom. Oh. Which is... Oof. Isn't Ori Halcom a largely made up substance? I think it, it derives from an ancient... I, so I it's think a, it was a Roman term, but the thing is no one ever found out the, the makeup of it. I believe it's Greek, actually. Okay. Or Halcom. I, it's either gro Greek or Roman. Um, ooh, that... This looks... Ooh, that looks interesting. Yeah, it looks like there's more here. Uh, specifically, I believe it was like a metal that was supposed to like originate or relate to Atlantis in some way, shape, or form. But it straight up was like a uh, a type of... Well... Uh, it was like a brass alloy. Yeah, well, historical records, I think, said that it even had a purple hue. Which yeah. Which was something interesting. But So I don't understand why Orhalcum is more often than not depicted as gold. But... Uh, I think that's just because of JRPGs. Mm-hmm. But it's as, either as gold yet, or cyan, now that I'm thinking huh? about it. Yeah, yeah, gold or cyan. Or blue. But... But I, I think specifically, you can blame a lot of JRPGs for latching onto it as a fantasy mm -hmm. material. And... But it was in Guild Wars and other things, too. Yeah. Yeah, in that case, it was kind of gold-orange. But as of yet, people have not been able to find out what the precise makeup of it is. I think there have been some things about it, but I, yeah, I don't know. I, I remember reading about this a couple years ago, and it, it seems like they kind of figured it out, but it was kind of anticlimactic. Mm -hmm. That it w wasn't really that strong or No, it was, I think it was just better than what they had at the time, but considering at the time... It um, probably would have been bronze and steel. Yeah. Well, I don't even know if we had much for steel. No, they probably didn't get up to steel until later. Yeah, right. like, I think people were still using brass and bronze almost primarily. Mm-hmm. Um, the bronze age. And so anything that is... Oh, I can use traps against my enemies, though. It's interesting how brass for the... Brass, for the most part, seems to be affiliated with fi like fixtures and things, and instruments. Yeah. I don't really see brass used in... Uh, maybe it's too soft? Yeah, I think it's pretty soft. Or brittle? Oh, that could be. Alright. Forgot today was lawn day while we're recording, so it's like, oh yeah, there are going to be maybe loud noises here and there. We'll try not to feature it, but time <laughs> is time is time and not our friends. Okay. Boy, these dungeons are huge. Ow. Uh-oh. That's a lot of guys. Your health is looking okay, though. Wait, that. what is that creature? Oh, it's what the ox... He might charge. Ooh. I'm aware. Ooh, that's actually a very swift charge. Yep. But it's got a pretty clear tell, and you can stun lock it. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. that a stake? Yeah, it definitely dropped something else. My main problem is just... What do I get rid of? Because I want to keep the crafting components around. We could get rid of the spice for it. But if it's only going to be that one, I don't know if I want to. It does seem like a rare creature, though. Maybe you want to get rid of the rocks? Or, uh, no? See, the thing the thing is, especially now when I don't have any rocks, those rocks probably mean yeah. uh, crafting components, like improving the restaurant or, or my equipment. Or it could be making new 
yeah. materials or knives. And, and so stuff. later on, when I have plenty of rocks, uh, I don't want to go back to town then. Yeah, I think I will. Now that my inventory is full, I think I'm going to clear out this area. I think I'm maybe going to get rid of those spices for this wood. Really? Yeah. Oh, is it because it's a special wood? Well, quantity. Why why do a dungeon run and get three um three spices when I could leave with a near full stack of I would say whatever this darkened maybe, wood is? Maybe ensure that you have that one type of meat and then the eggs and the spices and stuff, but maybe you don't need multiple types of meat. Uh yeah, we could do that. Uh but I've got a lot more fatty meat. I, I think I'm gonna get rid of the flaming spice right now. No, but it's spice. You need, like, I think you should have spice, greens, egg, and then one meat at the very least. So what, you're saying get rid of the fatty meat? Maybe it depends on if or you want to make Or maybe I get rid of the coconuts. Sweet juice and flesh. So I mean, spice, coconut, I'm, I'm still thinking I get rid of this. Okay. It's the one that I have the least of. So you're wanting hardwood maybe to make furniture? I might pair with the Ori Calcum for equipment. Mm -hmm. Or it does nothing at the moment. Who knows? And like eventually it won't matter. We'll have a bigger backpack. We probably won't need as many rocks. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, oh, we do have some more hardwood there. That's just regular wood. Just a little bit more. Because, yeah, now we've got how much hardwood? 14. Yeah. Oh, something here. Ah. So, ready to go back? Uh, or do you want to see what the next level looks like? Yeah, I can take a look at the next floor. I wonder if I can go back up. No, I cannot. I don't think you can. Yeah. Dang. Because, yeah, there was one area with, like, banners earlier that looked vaguely oh, interesting. Oh, there's little mushroom men. And a giant palm tree. Yeah, so now we have rice. We should just go back, though. Okay. I think I'm going to go kill the coconut as well. Or no, that's... That's not a coconut. That looks like a, a well, nasty palm of some sort. I might as well kill the greens while I'm here. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you're right. It is a, it's a tree of sorts. It's taking a lot of damage. Oh, I get got stank. It's okay. Get over here and. Well, just now you have a lot of the pork fat. Yep. Yeah, like going a little bit further was not the wrong choice here. Inventory is still full, but it's fine. That tree is still shambling over. And there's something else here. It was one of the rice. Demons. Okay. There's a lot of rice. Would I want to get rid of anything? Actually, I think I might get rid of the coconut. Oh, okay. For the rice. Because my goal is to leave with maximum quantity at the moment, rather mm -hmm. than anything specific. Do you and already have a full pack of flour? I suppose so. Okay, so his spikes do not hurt me after the fact. What does he have? Honey. Oh, does he have sap or honey? Honey or, or sap. What was it? Oh, I'm going to beat up the rice while we're here. Oh, that was worth it. They make such sad noises. They do. I'd almost feel bad. So that's a health fountain? Okay. Oh, it's another one of the... And there's coconut. There's rice. Is that a head rice? Because the other little rice grains... Yeah, it's like a rice shaman or something. Yeah. I wonder if they give more rice? Or... Yeah, they do. They give three. Versus the regular one. So I'm, I'm just going to fill out this stack of rice and then we'll just get out of here. Ow. I don't know what that noise was. Ow. It's a little rice. Okay. Well, we're good. Oh, this takes a while. Probably so that you can be attacked and interrupted. That makes sense. That well, that's fine. Be. We got loads of things. 
And it tells you what you killed. Oh. You were violent. Wait, so does flour come from the little puffs? Perhaps? Maybe. Oh, maybe time did pass. You might as well read for him. Are you following in your parents' footsteps and running the restaurant? Hey, Pom, could you help me with something? Of course, if it's within my abilities. No doubt it is. It's almost Fus Fusili's birthday and I need to get him a present. I wonder if you could help me get some hardwood so I could commission a small chest for his belongings. Oh, what a thoughtful gift. Of course, I'll be happy to help. Excellent. When you get back, I'll share the recipe for our favorite dish, the tonkatsu. Tonkatsu. Oh, oh that look at that illustration. Good. It's so good. Nothing beats deep fried pork cutlets covered in crunchy panko breadcrumbs topped with dark savory sauce, steaming rice, and shredded cabbage. Oh, you might have all the ingredients for that now that I think about yeah. it. Yeah. Leaves. You got the pork belly. If, if it's... it's the sauce is the question mark, but eh, mm -hmm. I'm sure that would be useful to you in your restaurant. Hurry now, Palm. Okay, hardwood. Oh, he needs 15. He needs 15. Oh, no. So it looks like everybody might have one of these quests. Okay, let's see. Oh, Chanterelle, as in Chanterelle mushrooms. Mm -hmm. oh, I, she, so she looks like she's a sheep or a ram. The other evening, I tripped and hurt my ankle around here. Thankfully, a man stopped to assist me. I think he of fiery temperament. She of icy breath, and he who shelters... Oh, I, I'm sorry to disturb you. Not to worry. You haven't at all. The gods will hear my prayers. What are you praying for? Fairness. Change. Pure love. Without social restrictions. I wish I had some flaming spice and tasty spice, though, to offer to the gods. I have need for their guidance. I could try to get some. I think I would like some more guidance, too. Oh, well, if you could get enough of me... I will reciprocate your efforts. Would you like a recipe for curry? Yup. Oh, curry. A fragrant spicy sauce made from blending and slow cooking a variety of aromatics with coconut milk, as smooth and spicy as life can truly be. Indeed, that would be amazing, thank you. Perhaps fate has brought you to me for this reason. Oh, I'm salivating over food. Oh look, Eclair. Living in this town can be a bit little boring, but my husband is loyal to Pale and I to him. Oh, this is a disaster. Is there no brave adventure around to help me? Uh, what can I do for you, ma'am? Oh, thank my lucky stars. I need to get hardwood so I can build some new furniture for a dessert a party this weekend. Do you think you could help? I'll give you the recipe for caramel cake. So please say yes. Caramel cake. Fluffy and sweet buttercream, sandwich and luxuriously soft sponge, lined with honey and toffee sauce. Desserts don't get any better than this. This is always a hit among my guests. I'm sure you'll find some use for it. Indeed I will. Consider your favor done, ma'am. Oh, have you seen my husband, Shoe? As in, like, a shoe? Yeah, shoe pastry. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's a handsome one, especially in his noble threads. Okay, she also needs 15. Also needs 15. Ah. I'm just going to double check with her. She needs 25. 25 hot peppers and then 15 of the other one. Oof. Ooh. New furniture. Oh, Palm. I heard you recently visited the green runes. There's some really useful material there, so I made some more fine furniture for you. you got the time. Come by my shop. Maybe you'll find something you like. Oh, but they're closed for the day. Mm hmm I wonder if we can make any of the recipes from the recipe book. Uh, let's see. So we can do steamed leafy greens, noodles, steamed chicken, boiled pork, boiled egg, steamed rice, oh. and spicy soup. So we actually don't have any recipes that are combo at the moment. So maybe we need to fulfill everyone else's quest to get the more quest in order ones. to get their recipes. Yeah. Money. Uh, so you just needed more hardwood. I'm so exhausted. And you were like, no, hardwood is not necessary. No, that's true. Oh, hey, you can store stuff. Great. Wait, but for some reason you can't store materials. You can only store ingredients. 
Is it because it's your refrigerator? Yeah. Or the equivalent thereof? Yeah, so this is probably where our, our ingredients go, and then the other is for crafting. I'll move it all over. We'll see what happens. Do we want to try to get that additional hardwood and see what we can do? Yeah. Or have we gone too far? Well, one, I want to just pop into the... Uh, oh, Alder, just to see what he has. Yeah, I want to see what they have briefly. Oh. Uh... They have a quest. Rosemary. Oh, the old lady. Were you reading for her? Oh, uh, I'm back from adventuring already. Oh, Pom, I've been looking for you, my dear. A few of us in town want to say thank you for all your hard work. We're so glad you decided to revive the restaurant and hold such a special place in all of our hearts. I'm just a humble adventurer and a restauranteur. I wish I could do more to bring in more patrons. I'm sure things will improve if you raise your restaurant reputation. Oh, if you can do that, I'll give you the old fa family recipe I have for roasted chicken rice. Oh. That looks good. Beautifully roasted chicken on a dome of right, white rice. Promising delicious mouthfuls of crispy skin, juicy meat, and stock-infused rice for the whole family. You need to work a little harder, but at least I... At least I can match your efforts. Everyone has perfectly practiced their food descriptions. Yeah. You know, because who talks about, you know, crispy chicken, you know, layered atop Only a dome really of aromatic rice? Only if I was really trying to somebody that my huh? food was good. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. I'll get right on it. Good day. We humbly welcome you to our shop. Oh, this is certainly a surprise. Oh, my dear friend, how have you been? Oh, hello, Shenshu. Well, I'm well. How about you? How's your sister? I'm fine, and so is Nightsha. I'm sure so you remember her. She's always been a little eccentric. I do. It's great to see you again. By the way, I'm reopening Potato Palace. My, my, how thrilling. It's lovely to have you around town again. I'm glad. I'm going to be here for a while, but I'll need some help getting the restaurant up on its feet. I'm definitely here for you if you need bobas and some sense uh and someone sensible. Thank you. As it happens, I did need a few bobas right now, actually. Oh wait, really? Allow me to show you what we have in stock then. I forget what voices I used for both of them. Oh well. <laughs> it's too many characters. Hey, hey, hey! Isn't that good, old Palm? Hey, Nycha. Yes, I'm back. And I'm reopening Potato Palace. Yippee! I'm so glad you have a good friend back in town. Uh, well, do you need any help? Not right now, but maybe later. I always trust you and your sister, Zhenshu, to help me pick up some good bobas. What? My old-fashioned sister could always choose the most boring options. You should count on me. You know, I've always got some really creative ideas. I'll keep that in mind, Nycha. Actually, I've suddenly realized... Ooh! Did you need something? Let me show you what we got. Hey there, Palm. What's tingling your taste buds? Okay, Quest. Hot boba flavor. Hiya, Palm. Gotta go. Hi, Nycha. What's the rush? Oh, I'm trying to find some flaming spice for a hot new boba flavor. It's sold out everywhere. You want some help? Oh, that would be great. If you find some, I'll trade you for this uh this new maki roll recipe I have. <gasps> maki rolls. Boy, those these food illustrations are like really good. Mm-hmm. Yummy refreshing vegetables and seafood wrapped in savory rice and crispy seaweed. A colorful snack that's perfect for any occasion. Zenshu and I were thinking of serving it with boba, but it would also work for your restaurant. And that sounds delicious. Alright, I'll be back with your ingredients. Okay. Would you mind if we skip a lot of the quest dialogue now? Uh, okay, just for speed. Sure. Just because your voice acting is lovely, but it's a lot of dialogue, and I'd like to go back into the dungeon one oh, more time. Oh, Kaya. What is Kaya? It's a spread. A lusciously smooth spread made of coconut cream, eggs, and sugar that sweetens every breakfast and enriches your taste buds. I've really? Never I've never before. heard of this. This must be something from. Japan or, or China? East Asia. Yeah, something. Okay. You can also buy that. Heals instantly. Oh, so you heal with boba tea. Yeah, whereas she has also heals instantly. Huh. I guess their stock is kind of limited at the moment. 
So what does Elder have to say? Don't know. Okay. So he wants... Oh, he's trusting. He needs oh, wood. He needs more wood. Okay. Omelette. Oh, is it the rice-filled omelette? Probably. Soft, creamy insides. Yeah, I don't know. Probably. Oh, no, no. It just looks like a normal omelette as opposed to the ones filled with rice. Okay. So he needs 15 wood, so we actually do have that. Okay, I good. just have to go retrieve it. Okay. Oh, mushrooms. I don't think we have any of we those. We don't have mushrooms. I actually, I saw plenty of mushrooms in the dungeon, but... Oh, onigiri. Look at that. Yeah, sticky ball wrapped yep. in seaweed filled with anything you fancy. I personally recommend pickled plums. That mix of salt and sweet and acid, oh, it's to die for. Sounds like a great addition to my restaurant menu. Thank you, Briquette. And then she's just thanking her for getting the ingredients. So okay. Everyone has recipes to share. Yep. Oh, right. The other thing I was going to do, I, we don't have money because I think I need to open the restaurant for it. Yeah, wow. Oh. Look at how a spatula costs 600 Yeah. It's not any better than the one I currently have. Weapon applies sweetened at the end of the attack combo. And then there's an even better throwing plate. There's also, I wonder if we can upgrade these. Mm-hmm. Throwing plate, 10 attack, increases crit, dash does a shield effect, and then gloves and boots for equipment. Well, do you want to grab the wood to give to Alder and see what happens? Yeah, I just wanted to check one thing. Upgrade. Yep. So, oh, but a thousand. Yeah, so it's a thousand coins, or maybe a thousand two hundred coins, I'm not quite sure. Uh, <laughs> To upgrade this spatula to increase its damage by one. Though, probably wow. not really worth it at the moment. It feels like you have to do a fair bit of grinding on this game. Hopefully in the dungeons there's super special items at the end if you go down far enough. I mean... Unless there's just... Oh, could you imagine if at the bottom of... The noises, at... they return. Uh, at the bottom of the dungeon there's a boss monster with really special ingredients. Probably. Okay. So now we know uh, we must always leave the dungeon with a stack of 15 of each resource. Mm -hmm. Anything less than that is a waste. It probably won't matter, and hopefully eventually we get a bigger backpack too, but eh. So yeah, let's do um, let's do one more uh, dungeon dive just to get a couple more ingredients, then open the restaurant. Oh, now we have the recipe. Okay, so now we have omelet. Uh, oh, we have to. Do we have to fill biscottis? No, we shouldn't. I think he's well, just. Well, he not said there. something along the lines of. Well, I, I'm just gonna do the dungeon run that I said mm -hmm. I was going to do. Get a bunch of resources, and then we'll open the restaurant and just see how much money we can make. Okay, so we needed more hardwood, but a lot of it. Oh no! Did you keep the hardwood in your? Nope. Inventory? Okay. No, I cleared it up before we went in. I kind of wish this had like a um, banked inventory system that the moment you go back to town, all of your stuff just goes into storage. I don't think anyone needed egg. No. Yet. Somebody might. Like, the thing is, I don't know how many of these quests are procedurally generated. Uh, I guess they can't, they can't be fully procedurally generated just because of the illustration mm -hmm. and the recipes. Um... Because two people needed a lot of hardwood. Some people needed the uh, spicy peppers, but we also have never run into the green spicy pepper. Yeah. So, to some degree, I think what I should probably do is pause. The noises, they depart, the chickens. You know, honestly, I think, I think I'm just going to ignore the first war. And the noise might come back. Let's hope it doesn't. <laughs> Mom knows. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill the the pepper critters. Yeah, definitely. But we need to find out where in the dungeon. <gasps> That's a new one. Well then. But we need to figure out where the green peppers are situated. They might be a deeper thing. And how do and you we get the mushrooms? Unless you those. need to have a special well, shovel or something for mushrooms. I don't know. I, I'm, I think I'm specifically... I don't even... We don't need rocks. 
The one thing I want is maybe more Ori Ori Calcum, because we might I think oh well, we know we do need a lot of rocks and base wood. So I think I'm gonna uh I, I think I'm going to leave one slot for just wood and rock. Mm-hmm. Uh, because we need that for upgrading things. So, I, I guess it doesn't... But it was the hardwood that we needed, not the softwood. The other thing is, this is still the demo, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, if we don't get everything. Uh, because there's a very... Well, there's a, a almost 100% chance... The save file won't cable. Yeah, won't so there's like, no yeah. point in actually being efficient here. Uh, so maybe instead of gathering things... What I should do is just, yeah, get the requisite hardwood, because we don't have too much. Not that we even need the hardwood that bad. At the uh, moment, you're only getting wood wood. Yeah. The uh, hardwood might come from the older looking trees. Uh, is that one over there in the corner? No, hardwood comes from the dark trees. Uh, second level. Yeah, second level. Like, the deeper you go, the rarer the resources. Yeah. Um. So, like, realistically, I will need stacks and stacks of this stuff. I'm enjoying the gameplay. I do wish it was slightly less demanding resource quantity wise, just because yeah, grind. Yeah, look at all these mushrooms, and I don't. I've never seen you. No, I think I need to kill them. a mushroom monster. Mm-hmm. Uh... Okay, so it looks like my third hit combo does stun Spice Spice Boy here. Ow. Interesting. So the coconut. coconut mines actually do explode in my face if mm -hmm. I step on them. Yep. Uh, I was assuming that I'd have a little bit of time before they went off. But that's not the case. <gasps> oh. Not in the wrong direction. Just oh, they don't bit. even do that much damage. There's a healing fountain that I'll be able to use. Oh, do they make a poison spot? Yeah. Or is that just a poison pig? Uh, the pig farts. Yeah, there you go. Oh no. Do you need boba? Yeah. This is what boba's for. There is a healing fountain though. Like, I will get the opportunity to... Oh, you're full? already full? Uh, drop some of the meat and eggs and things that you don't need. Bunch of chickens. Okay. No. Probably want healing. I don't have any, unfortunately. I gotta keep coming. Eek. It's just chickens. Chickens are generally one of the easier monsters. There we go. Yes, the little dust sprites are... Wait, oh, they have an AoE. The rice. Uh oh can you please heal up with boba? I don't have boba. You, did you already drink it? I don't have boba. Oh, you never bought it? No. I thought, I thought you bought one. Nope. Oh, there would be boba on our belt if we had boba. Oh, okay. Sorry. I assumed you'd bought one of them. Nope. How did you get health back? This thing. Oh, you did. Yeah. That's that's how you heal. Mm hmm But only so much. What was it? 25 health? 50. Well, you're at 50 out of 100 now, but you had at least 20 health. Uh, oh, maybe? Maybe it's like 30 HP. It's stuck. Yeah, it got stuck on the corner. The problem corner. is there's two of them. So I think I'm just going to hang out right here. <laughs> Have them all get stuck on the side of the rock. Yeah, the also the fire. has a little bit more range. Well, my final hit sets the ground on fire. Ah. <laughs> and so I can use that to effectively uh, cheese everything into deadly submission. And there's one more of the rice leaders. After this. You're not picking up any of the hardy meat or the steak meat? Inventory is full. Yeah, get rid of the eggs. Tough meat. Okay. I guess I can stunlock this guy. I'm not sure how much I care. 
Because, yeah, we don't have hardwood here. We get that at the end of this region. I guess I can't just run past these things. Mm -hmm. No matter how much I'd like to. They're too numerous. Okay, here you go. <laughs> no, I think I can still stun lock this thing. Most enemies can be, just not the peppers for whatever reason. Wow, there's so many. Oh, they're flower. Yep, they do give flower. Yeah, they're little pom poms. I. I don't know why this weirds me out the most out of all of the things we are uh, capturing for. Just think that they what they poof into into all this dust. Yeah, but flour. Like, we make bread from their remains. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get rid of the fatty meat. I think we had some of that. Not that it matters. Now we've got the hardwood I was... I needed. Right, but I think you need two sets of 15. Uh, yeah. And so, like, I could stick it out, but on the flip side... Mm -hmm. uh, Just get one set and see what happens. Kind of, yeah. I mean, it's mostly we haven't actually run the restaurant yet, apart from to feed one character. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, maybe instead of uh, gathering a bunch of ingredients that aren't going to stick around for the full release, we should probably just, yeah, get that one more recipe. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh, leave the dungeon and actually open open it up and make some money. Yeah. That said, the question is, do I want to... Let's see. Do I want to keep going at least for a little while longer? Depends on if you want to see what the next levels offer. Yeah, the one problem is they are kind of tough. Mm -hmm. They do make really cute noises. I know. I think that's because they're chanting. Oh, oh no. Oh, this thing escaped me. Oh, it might be like an invulnerability. Ow! Okay, no, that was it. No, I think that's just the noise that they make. Yep. Well, they dance around and so like da 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 da. But it could just be what the rice does. Ow. Wow. Dead end. Yeah, it's fine. Just a bunch of... Just a bunch of chicken and rice. And I can get past them kind of safely. Ow. Unless, of course, we just slowly... move on to the damage pad. Oh, there's some health. Alright, 50 HP. Yeah, I only had like two left when I got to the fountain the last time. Mm -hmm. I was in very dire straits. Another coconut. Biome switch? Oh, with another fountain. This is what I wanted to see. Ooh, yeah, look at the spears. Oh, a giant rooster. Let's call him the big black chicken. The interesting thing is, what was it? We went out to the Chinese grocery store and they actually had the chickens, the fancy chickens that have the black skin and I think supposedly black bones. It's one of the melanistic traits. their meat is also similarly dark. Maybe it would be. I don't like how fast this chicken turns. 
So specifically, um... Well, he's also kind of like a ninja. There aren't a whole lot of openings to fight this chicken. So, like, specifically, I will dash and it will instantly know where I am. Mm -hmm. So, like, I can't be close to it to dodge that because it won't... It straight up won't let me. Uh... Because it'll be too accurate. He's just throwing feathers like Shuriken. Yep. Right. Do the air move. There it is. The doors are opening. We've got the chest. Open chest. Oh, look at all those materials. Ooh, There's some cheese gloves and gloves. And plates. So we did get some equipment from this. Uh. I can only discard. Get rid of the flower. We should have plenty of that. Oh, you can also see what I've got in storage. In your storage, so that you know how much you Which have. Which is confusing because I should have rice in my storage. Unless you didn't bring rice back? I thought you did. Maybe. But we got a different float throwing plate. Which is actually just, like, way better. Okay. Do you want to get rid of the old throwing plate? Uh, yeah. I don't know if I can sell it or anything. You, can you pick up the gloves? That's the goal. Okay, a block of cheese can be eaten whole. Would be nice to save, but no thanks. There we go. Now we've got the gloves. Gloves give us small health up. Hmm. Start each run with 10 additional HP. And then we also have this, which is a different dungeon exit. Yeah, so more hardwood. Yep. So there's multiple ways out of here. Um, I don't, I don't know if I actually want to keep a full stack here, or if we should just bail. I do want to see if we go to a different biome, though. Yeah, with all this hardwood around, you might be able to get the extra 15 or so. Or, I don't remember how much you had back at base. Uh, I think we actually have enough. I think we'll be able to do both. Because mm -hmm. it was 15 and 15, and we had 14 on us. Yeah. So, I think we're good. No, that's just that. I don't care. So, is this a different biome, or is it still just kind of the same grassland? Uh, same general kind of grassland forest, from what I can tell. But it looks very vacant. I wonder what's in that direction. Nah, same as usual. Okay. Oh no, so long as the peppers don't get you. Yeah, they're gonna... I was hoping they wouldn't. There we go. Now you can Now let's out. leave. And then actually open the restaurant. See how that works. And then probably call it for now. Yeah. I like this game. It needs a little bit of work here and there. Uh, namely, I don't like bosses that can instantly just change to target where you've dashed to. I feel like they need a little bit of a turning speed. Oh gosh, we have more side quests. Truffle. Are they a police officer or a ranger yeah. of some sort? Probably. Okay, so she just wants rice. Oh, wait, the steamed chicken rice. Really? I already smell the steamed chicken drizzled with light soy sauce and shredded ginger. The fluffy white rice soaking up the meat juices on the plate. I still have the recipe for it, actually. I'll gift it to you to show my thanks. Yep, don't worry, get the ingredients for you. They had a second quest, too. Yep, second one. Really miss my family? Truffle's homesick. I miss home so much. Hey, are you feeling all right? Physically, yes, but sadly, my heart is heavy. I haven't been home for a long time, and I miss my family. I wish I could eat my grandmother's home-cooked food again. I wish there was something I could do for you. Well, if you could get me some noodles, I could make my grandmother's dish. In exchange, I could give you the recipe. The dish is called Mi Rebus. Oh. oh! So, it looks like there's tofu, eggs, there's some peppers, lime. An egg noodle dish 
braised in a gravy made from beef broth, aromatic spices, and sweet potatoes. Garnished with eggs, chopped chilies, and fried tofu, every bite is a satisfying experience. Ah, just thinking about it fills me with longing. I can do that. All right, and then I'll just talk to... Oh, Pippin! Cute little squirrel. Okay. Give tough me some meat. tough meat. Burger dish. To make burger. Burger. It's a burger. So we don't have any tough meat on us? Uh, no. I think we have some. Oh, five. But oh. I have five. How much did he need? Probably 15. Oh. It seemed to be 15 every single time. I'm just going to go deposit what I I can, grab and the hardwood. And pick up the ones that you wanted. Yeah, and then we'll actually open the restaurant. But you only have one seat for one individual person. Yeah, I was kind of hoping I could get a couple more. Um, yeah, you have yeah, plenty of hardwood. I'm just going to snag a bunch of that. There's also about like getting the person noodles. Yeah, do we just have to? Wait, make do noodles? I have to have these ingredients on hand? Ugh. Yeah, in order to make Awkward. them. Awkward. Which makes you wonder how you deal with the restaurant. You have I mean, to go eventually back I will have a bigger bag and some other things. I, oh. I just wish that uh everything in that um in that storage in the back would or like Either everything in here would be used for cooking, or really just as long as you're in town, uh, all of your inventory is just put into a universal storage, and you just don't have to worry about it. And it's instantly cleared out for um, dungeon runs, unless it's like a consumable, maybe? And I don't know. I just... Inventory management is a pain, and like, if it's a game where Tetrising inventory items around, to, so you can get as like much as you can. Okay, that's fine. Not Let's try to find the folks. Any more side quests. Okay, so... Yeah, he just wanted wood. Regular uh, wood? Yeah. Or no, he needs hardwood too, depending. No, no, no. I think, I think we gave him what he needed. I think he just wanted regular, regular wood. I'm just trying to see what else he has. Box, I guess we cabinets, can look at this. Windows. We've got a bunch of tables. Um, how much money do I have? 200, I think? 500. Oh, that requires an awful lot of wood. Ah, uh, see how I needed... Yeah, so I, I could actually... I think Regal is the kind of stuff that ups the reputation of your restaurant. You just want to get it started. Yeah. We don't have enough. Because, yeah, we also needed all that wood to even buy these things. There's also prep tables, and then I think these are just decorations. I don't know what the rug is for. Yeah, I wish they told you what they actually if did If they have the an effect, yeah. Regal wall, regal flooring. Like, we could get a wall shelf. Because it could be aesthetic that increases reputation. Well. Can we find the people that we got the hardwood for, or did you use all the hardwood? Um... Maybe. Side quests. Uh, so Pippin needs 20 tough meat, 20, uh, 25 rice for briquette, or not briquette, for truffle rice. Briquette wants mushrooms, boiled egg, flaming spice, restaurant reputation. Eclair wants hardwood. Orzo, and Orzo wants, wants hardwood. hardwood. Oh, and we should talk to the brewery. I don't know where half these characters are, but I guess we'll talk to... Hello? Anyone here? Why is it so dark? Greetings, Bob. You're cuter than I thought. Ah! Uh, sorry. I was just... I, I didn't know you were here. How do you know my name? Who doesn't know the prodigal child of Potato Palace? You're pretty well... You're pretty well known around these parts. That makes sense, I suppose. I did grow up here. What about you? I've never seen you around before. My name's Enkili... Uh, and Kilun, and Kilun, and Kilun, and Kilun. I think. And Kilun, I'm just here to fill a gap in the market. Is that not why you're here? I'm, I'm looking for spices. I heard this was the best place to get some. It is indeed. Let's see if I can satisfy your desires today, little kitty. Well, there's a reputation. Lovely to see you as always. How shall I serve you today? 
Uh, let's see. Name is. Well, well, I think he just, he just slice. kept calling her little kitty, and she's like, "Please call me Pom." Yep. Okay. Wait. And then Chashu Ramen. Chashu Ramen. Oh, look at that. Mm. There's the little fish cake and the little. Oh, you're sighing, aren't you? You yeah. love ramen. Read it out. It's a homely dish with hand pulled noodles and a warm, rich broth. The taste is elevated with slices of succulent pork braised in dark soy sauce. You could add it to your menu and draw in many customers to your restaurant. That, that sounds like a good deal. Smart as always, little kitty. Look forward to your successful return. Okay, and can't brew anything with them yet. Because no So what spices. did he want in particular? Chia, olive, uh, tasty spice. Ah, uh, we haven't found the tasty spice yet. It's the green stuff. Oh, there's a Claire. Yeah, she wanted wood. Yeah. Okay. Splendid. Now I have everything for my craftsmen, and my party is saved. And here's your reward, Palm. The recipe for caramel cake. Enjoy. No, no more quests. I wonder there... how many recipes there are in this game. Probably a lot. Like it always feels like games like these are literally made with the... Wait, did a Claire just pop up there? Uh, no, greater that's noble a greater lady. noble lady. Okay. I guess that's what the husband would have looked like. Oh, yeah. They are well fed. Uh, let's see. Which makes sense for this game. I'm not seeing Orzo. New furniture. Yeah, I'm just going to assume Orzo ain't here. This game is making me so hungry, though. Yeah, but we got to hold on for another six hours. Oh. I mean, we don't have to. No, I know. I guess I'll just put it here. of changes. Okay, so I was going to hold to open restaurant. Oh, that's cute. Out of ingredients. Oh, she wants grilled pork. Close restaurant. That's oh, so she's, stupid. she's really angry. Yep, this is so stupid. Did you lose reputation? Uh, no, I don't think, but they got mad. But it's so stupid that you can open your restaurant without ingredients. Uh, so you probably want the pork and some I mean, of I the can grab most basic ones. Literally everything except for that second stack of greens. Okay. Right, let's try that again. Watch someone order something on the menu that you don't have ingredients for. Boi boiled, boiled beef. Boiled beef. Oh, no, we, we can't do that. Okay. There was... we go. Wait, don't get up from your chair. There you go. Okay, what do they want? Steamed greens. Oh, you need to take their money. Oh, can they get their food themselves? Yeah, I oh, suppose they can. They do. You don't have to serve them. I do like the fact that the recipe that they're looking for... Um, oh, she needs a table. Is that person ever going to leave? Yeah, I think they just took okay, a while. Okay, they, they finally left. Or, no. Team chicken. Yeah, so some of them will get mad and leave. Clearly, you need more tables. It seems like you have up to four people in at a time. Yeah. Yeah, Looks notice like how it. it's always four people? Oh, five at this point. Another boiled beef. Yeah, so definitely need some more tables, but who cares if we're losing customers at the moment? I don't think we lose reputation for oh, it. Oh, the old lady. 
And yeah. So next time we play this, uh, disregard a lot of the side quests for the more complex dishes. Mm -hmm. uh, I just don't think they're actually worth it. It looks like you can just have the, the restaurant open all day. But yeah, don't open the restaurant until you have, I'm going to say, at least four or five tables. And eventually you're going to run out of ingredients. Like, I wonder how kind many of, stacks but I have a lot. Do you only need one to make the dish? Or is it multiple? Only one for basic one-star dishes. Two-star dishes require a little bit more. Yeah. But we need a prep station for that. This this thing can only handle one star. But whatever. Yeah, you definitely need three more tables. Yep. And here you were saying, no, more spices. Sorry. Fine. I suppose I was just so enthusiastic about gathering more recipes. Yeah. But you already have a good ensemble of recipes, at least the basic ones. Oddly enough, no potatoes. And this is supposed to be the potato palace. Yeah. I endeavor to never sell potatoes. It looks like they only order stuff that you have on That's the menu. Good. But yeah, uh, it slowed down because I think that was breakfast. Or no, that was lunch. Oh, so there's going to be different times of the day where... Yeah, people might want different things. I wonder if I can close the restaurant at this point. I guess... Uh, no immediate reason for me to do so. Because, yeah, we might as well just burn through all of our resources. I think there might also be a reputation thing, and I don't know. I wonder if you can have multiple cauldrons going at once. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's just I need the requisite resources to build said, uh, said things. So far, I haven't seen someone get up and leave the table. I suppose you've been going I, I've seen a couple people time. leave for this taking well, that too That person long. looks like a dragon. Yep. Yeah. So they've left. The thing is, they're almost immediately replaced with somebody else. So it's kind of hard for me to care. How much money are you making per... About sorry. 50. Mm -hmm. 50 per raw ingredient. It varies a little bit based on the thing. So, like, I think the uh, the beef is worth a little bit more. Um, and I'm pretty sure boiled egg and the noodles are going to be worth, like, 30. Because they, they give me a little bit of a tip. I think the more, f the fancier the place, the mm. bigger the tip. So yeah, noodles was barely anything. Whereas boiled beef, I'm pretty sure is going to be more. But as we decorate the restaurant and as we get more complex ingredients, yeah. it will probably become um, much more. I, oh, steamed chicken. I was worried that the actual cooking was going to be very, like, overcooked, cook, serve, delicious, you know, where you really and have, like... And lemon cake and stuff where you're running around trying to make sure that the, the floors are mopped and that the... Yeah. Uh, that all the ingredients are brought out of the oven at just the right time. Yeah. So, so they don't burn. Uh, I was worried that we'd have to deal with something like that, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. It's much more of just a... Then again, it, it's pretty much just a... Most of these dishes are... Boil, steam, stir fry, curry. Yeah, there is the very real possibility that they get more complex in a way that I do have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. I'm betting, oh, I don't know. I, I'm betting you have to make the noodles and then do like a prep. But I could be wrong. I don't really know. Well, one way or another, I think this is neat. The dungeon crawling is fun. I just wish there was a little bit more depth to the combat system. Are you going to have enough ingredients for dinner? Uh, yeah. Yeah, as long as people order steamed rice. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Now, I wonder if someone can order something from the menu that you don't have ingredients for now that you're getting It hasn't getting happened to the yet. Game. Ooh, that was worth a lot. 83. Yeah, because it looks like boiled beef is off the table. Yeah. So I wonder if someone can order the boiled beef. Oh, dinner rush. Oh, there's that dragon lady again. She's probably going to leave in a huff. Yeah, 
Eh, maybe. Oh no. I mean, maybe. some of the characters are definitely eating faster. Uh, yeah, I noticed that if there's no one else, a person might go back to the table twice. But if there is someone else, they leave. Boiled pork. So specifically, they, they might be heading for the door, but if there's an opening immediately. Yep, there's the steamed rice, finally. It's probably not worth much. Um, but if there's an opening immediately as they're heading for the door, they'll head for their location. I like how they occasionally bring in one of the unique characters. Oh no, oh, yeah. poor Truffle. Oh no, Truffle did get a table. No, this is Truffle. That's oh. fake Truffle. Oh, okay, so they both mu they both must be... Um... Yeah, so Truffle's mad. Bye, Truffle. Bye, Truffle. Oh, I see. It's a, it's another police officer. I, I do wish soldier. I could almost have like a limit to the amount of uh, people that can come in. I really hope it's not a thing that if they leave in a huff, then that's a negative one reputation or... Well, I'm serving more people than I'm not, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know. And yeah, it does look like I can just have this place open the entire time. It's just dinner has the biggest rush. But that's it. Oh, we have uh, the police officers. Oh, shoot. Braised, uh, boiled pork. I don't know if they can leave the table after not being served for a time. Oh, There's a thing in the top left. Uh, oh, that's the time that they're willing to wait for it? Or no, that's yeah. when they're complete? Or, hmm. Yeah, it's just the status of it. Yeah, like, as far as restaurant manager games, this actually is pretty good. Uh. It will be interesting to see what happens when you have more of a full house and then also more difficult dishes. Yes. Poor Truffle. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Still no Truffle. And Truffle's back. <laughs> Truffle finally gets a table. She's just like angrily exits and then is just like, oh, wait, there's no other food available at this hour in this town. And then it immediately angrily walks back in, but kind of sheepish. Mm-hmm. People are still coming in. I'm really curious if there's like a uh, a point where it stops me, or, or if I can just stay up all night. Oh no! Making food for you mean, people. Well, I would assume that the I don't know. I mean, one way or another, okay. we've cleared it out a it ton. It is getting of, slower. And truffles back and want egg. <laughs> I know it's not actually supposed to be truffle every time, but I do like the mental image of like the police officer just being ravenous. And indecisive. And cloned. Oh, yep. Okay. Now, if no one else comes I'm in... close the restaurant. Oh, I guess that just eats them. Well, that does make them go away. No, it's fine. Earnings, tips... Reputation. What a hectic first day. Oh, I think I did all right. Oh, what's this? Wait, to the owner of Potato Palace? Congratulations on your first day. I was one of the many patrons today and loved the service you provided. I think this place is exactly what the town of Pale needs to rejuvenate its community spirit. So here's a tip to encourage you. Your parents would also be very proud of you. And don't forget that there are many people, like the amazing Biscotti, who are willing to help you as long as you ask. Wait a minute, is this just Biscotti? It's just Biscotti. This is just the humble beginning of a new adventure. Love an anonymous supporter who isn't your best friend. <laughs> oh, Bisco I, I mean, this anonymous supporter is so sweet. I'm going to treasure this letter forever. Well, that was cute. Yeah. But this video has gone on for maybe a little too long. Oh, I can actually just store that. Can you eat it? Um. No, I don't think so. No, you can it's just. It's fine. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. I was worried that the restaurant management was going to be annoying, but it's not. It's actually pretty fine. Um, I'm a little horrified to find out that if you can store these in your inventory, does that mean at the beginning of the day you can just plop them on the counter and go, here's the things I made yesterday? Yeah, I, be <laughs> I believe I could do that if I really wanted to. <laughs> oh, uh, no. 
the only real complaint I had about this one is just inventory management. I feel like you should have, maybe it's a structure I get to build, but having a pantry, I guess I could actually potentially build a pantry out there. Oh, they did have cabinets so pull, and stuff. Yeah, so I might be able to do that, but I still think if, if you have the item in town, why in any of your storage. Like have that rather than the menu. Yeah, let's go out to the main menu. Um, just because, I don't know, that's a nice illustration. But if, if you have an ingredient in your storage, you should just be able to cook with it. I know it's maybe not realistic, but it would just be so convenient. Uh, and then otherwise, mostly just from a personal level, go get a boatload of wood before I do anything else. Just wood and like a couple of basic ingredients. Uh, just so I can actually serve more than two people at a time. And that's it. And yeah, probably ignore a lot of the the side quests until we've got the restaurant somewhat filled out. Oh yeah, maybe going into the dungeon to get as much of the wood that you need to build, Yeah, of course, but maybe less so on the ingredients and the recipes until you have that set up. Yep, well, one way or another. Really enjoyed this one. Looking forward to playing it again when it comes out in, I actually have no idea when Quisineer is releasing. The, I love all the character art and the the 3D models and the illustrations and the writing too. I especially love the descriptions of the meals and of course the illustrated versions of the meals themselves. They were so tantalizing. They were tantalizing. It's making me hungry. Alas. For now though, unfortunately the demo is gone uh, so you all can't play it yourselves but I will uh, make another video when this game is close to full release or at full release or early access or whatever they're planning with this game. So stay tuned for that. What, what other dungeon monsters lurk yeah. in those ruins. And we, we only saw one biome. There was a volcano and Yeah, there's going to be a lot more. Yeah. But for now, at least, I guess if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because we got tons to check out and show off. With that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.